This morning, rescue crews will resume the daunting task of digging through flattened homes and buildings in Mississippi after the weekend tornado outbreak that claimed at least 21 lives in the state. This is the inside of a massive water tower that snapped in half and then spilled all over the ground here. And you can get a sense of the damage from above and the monumental task required to rebuild this town. We now have a picture of one of the youngest victims, two-year-old Aubrey Green. Another life lost, Ethan Herndon, whose family calls him a gentle giant. He died along with his one-year-old daughter, Riley, when the tornado slammed into their home. The family of Wanda Early says she died while driving to work. Her daughter calls her an amazing person. People don't have anything. At least 27 tornadoes tore through five states, but Mississippi bore the brunt, one twister leaving a trail of destruction 59 miles long. More survival stories are emerging. Sonia Barnes says she grabbed her two-month-old grandbaby and took cover in the bathroom. I was just thinking, how was I going to protect her? But you put the baby in your jacket? Yes, my shirt. In the town of Blackhawk, the 100-year-old community center is destroyed. But it's the little things left behind that bring hope. Like this piano waterlogged. But local residents say that piano, like this community, can and will be rebuilt. Not over for them yet. Forecasters are warning of severe thunderstorms later this week for the same region. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.